Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day. It is Tuesday today, and we're at the spec house, our spec house that we're building. Um, job's a mess. Now we're over here getting, gotta do a little more framing. Um, it's a little dark inside, but we gotta do, there's a soffit downstairs we gotta put up for the HVAC, get everything covered up. And then uh, we got a material list because we're gonna prep the shower and three floors. I got three bedrooms, three bathrooms in this house, three full baths. Enough talking. Let's get to work. Check this out. Look at that thing. That thing is huge. Look at the size of it. Got all of our lumber in. Got me a light. Uh, got my speaker. My water, my food, all the essentials, we are going to put in the soffit, so enjoy this time lapse. She just unplugs it. Can't do that, dude. It's always got to stay on. Changing out all these with, with cheaper cords now. I just decided every sump pump's gonna have a hundred footer on it. That should be sufficient, you know. Oh, we're, oh, we're doing good. Oh, there's I'm the assuming the float was stuck. It was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes do that. I'm wondering if you might need to get this Yeah, I'm gonna double check it. It comes out four inches of water. It's full. It comes out full. I think this is this one downspout takes a butt load of roof. It does. Oh, it dude, there's only one. All that too. That's a lot. So it takes a lot of roof. He's already supposed. To, he's already supposed to have that drain cut into. Well. It's probably just siphoning down through the tile. Yeah. The worst case, one, if we can get this down lower and take it out. No, further, it's it's got plenty of drain. It's yeah. you can already see it's coming out. 
I don't know well, what's with that. Thing, you know, check it, okay? Yeah. And I think we can solve it. Because I transited it in. What's that? I, tr I put transit it, okay. leveled it. It was all I said, worst case, three or four I inches of fall. Worst case, I think the fix is, you know, we could dig down. Kind of expose that rock layer and give this a relief valve out here if we had to. That's worst case. I don't know what's going on here. Plus, you know, it's real easy for water to get through those cracks, those panels right now without the liner. Yeah, and I realize once the liner's in there, the water's going to take the path of least resistance, so it's going to look for these openings. Yeah, and we got plenty of them. Yeah. All right. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Yep, of course. Man, Taylor really got me on that drain. That thing's down there like a foot. You got, I wanted that drain out. I mean, it can be up that high, you know? But I didn't want it to be up that high. Let's go check on the other one, see where we're at with it. I don't know about where they stopped that brick. The windows are open. I don't know about all that. But got that stone up. That looks pretty nice. Not bad. See, Mike's was perfect. I didn't show you Mike's. Mike's was all good, ready to go. And that's what I was hoping for these ones, but somehow this one over here just tripped. So, I don't know, man. Pretty stupid. Need a measure connector for these. See if PC don't have one. Inch and an eighth would work perfect. Inch and a quarter plus. Inch and a half. No, inch and three eighths. Inch and a half would work perfect. Inch and three quarters. So like inch and a half. Yeah. A lot more rain coming too. So, you know. Well, it's still pumping. All right, we're going to run and see if we can't find any, um, what the heck's he got going on there? Drain. <sighs> Drains are crooked and jack dog legs. I got 30 days to close the deal. I'm not trying to pay another payment on this no, uh, dump truck. I've already lost enough money. Not dump truck, pump truck. I've already lost too much, so... I gotta, you know, be a little more fervent in prayer about it and really just, you know, pray that God takes care of it because it's a lot of money. It's five grand a month for this payment. And, you know, it was a big mistake from the beginning. I shouldn't have done it. Um, I was, I did it under the assumption that it was gonna be a lot less work than it had to be. Um, not the work necessarily, but just dealing with people that are going to screw me over. That's what threw it off. I mean, that's what really screwed me. But, um, you know, I just, I should have, uh, shouldn't have done it, honestly. I really shouldn't have. She just kept going and doing what I was doing. And, um, oh, well, I built the network I have in a big way because of it. So, that's good i learned a lot of lessons because of it and that's good uh let's just hope it doesn't cost us too much more money or we're really going to be out you know i've already lost a good twenty-five thousand on that truck and i mean lost and it's probably more i haven't even done the detail uh the numbers on it every detail on it um but i've invested a ton of money in this truck and it's time to end so just uh, praying to get sold and we can get done with it and move on and get this, get my house loan and we'll 
we'll be good, man. Rolling into the next year, we'll be uh, we'll be moving. So, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow, later, whenever. Peace. It's been a bad, 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 bad morning. <clears throat> All the dirt, dude, it just keeps falling. Oh, man. It's just so frustrating, dude. I can't even tell you how frustrating it is. This one, this one fell too. Making me sick, dude. I mean, it really is. Okay, it pushed out two inches. Two and a quarter. I mean, that's not like crazy, as long as this one's good. I can't tell you how much this makes me sick. It's a stupid dirt, man. We should have, I should have angled that <clears throat> dig a little bit more to make it right. Um, but this is a big mess up. Luckily, it's an easy fix. You know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up cleaning out all the gravel, making sure everything's good, jacking it side to side, and then jacking it up and we're gonna be good. And then we're gonna pour the whole footer. It's done deal. So thank God it's not worse than it could be because it could be a lot worse, let me tell you. But uh, that's what we gotta do. So it just has to be done, but you know, it's gonna be just as strong as it ever would be. And the only the problem is, is there's nothing, all that dirt, you know, just came out from under it. It's just like any footer of a house. You know, if you, if all the, the dirt eroded out of a footer of a house you got no house so you're as strong as that ground that's on there under there so it doesn't have to do with how good you poured your footer or your footers not strong enough you didn't pour your walls right whatever it has everything to do with that wall uh, just not being supported underneath and so it was fine before I had like two inches underneath that wasn't covered three inches maybe some but it was fine but the dirt, all the rain we got, we've gotten probably like eight inches of rain in the last two months or more. And it's just completely eroded it and eroded it in. So anyway, I'm gonna get, get my uh, foundation guy over here to help me fix it. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna get it done. And then I'm gonna pour it on Tuesday. So yeah, that's the deal. But we're gonna do it and get it done. and. You know, thank God it's not worse, so. And then, 
It has been one day. Anyways, guys, I'm over here at the spec right now. Had to come over here and continue on. Get that whole problem fixed tomorrow and the next couple days, get ready for concrete. And um, Anyways, we're gonna pour this pan. Another pan, get ready for tile. So uh, I'm about to do the self leveler and then uh, for the pre-slope and then where it goes. Here's a little time lapse of what we're doing. been very active today I haven't filmed much it's just been a long day man I had to plan out five concrete pours uh, plan out pumps plan out guys plan out mixes plan out colors I'm trying to fix this pool get everything lined up I got six guys coming tomorrow it's just a lot man I've been been going and then um, doing this as well so you know you can see it's getting done. About to pull, get, get the walls up here in the niche. And then, um, you know, get this pan poured. And then hopefully we can get the pan poured, get all this done, pan poured, and the other floor done today before we leave. That way we ain't gotta worry about it. And um, yeah, so it's just been a long day, man. I'm tired a little bit. Doing a lot, stressed out this morning, let me tell you this. You know, I, I, a lot of things don't phase me and I just kind of brush them off because it's just part of life. But dude, when, when I seen that pool this morning, I was just like, gosh. But luckily, it's not that bad. And it's gonna be able to fix pretty easily. So, and, and the way I'm re-supporting it, I'm putting, you know, about a foot of concrete underneath of it. Normally on our pools, that's that's all dirt. So, um, because it, it'll be dirt underneath of it and it slants down. Well, all that water eroded it out. So what we're gonna do is, it's since it's eroded out, we're gonna clean it out. And then on Tuesday, we're pouring concrete all the way underneath of there. We're gonna pack it in. And it's never going anywhere. So, you know, rest assured, Anybody out there thinking I built a junky pool? Because you can just take it up with someone else. Our pools are good, son. Period. Anyway, man, I just give you a little update. And, um, you know, let's get started on this wall. Give me a little bit about Plexus. Not a sponsor. And um, we're going to get something done. All right, we're headed home. Just finished up. I was trying to get the whole thing done and seam taped and everything, but dude, it's 5.44, I'm going home. I got a half hour, 40 minutes to get there still. I'm just done, man. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta call it quits, but I've got the pan done. It's hard to see it, but it, looked, it turned out real good. Tomorrow's a big day. Get this footer fixed, and um, I'm hoping we knock it out by noon, honestly. Um, I appreciate you guys. It's been a slow week. Anyways, y'all have a good weekend. I appreciate you tuning in and watching my video. Lola watching. Alyssa watching. <laughs> it means a lot. Y'all have a good weekend. Be safe. Peace out.